palpitations are that are normal sensations that you're feeling your heart. And if you watch this to the end, there's a way that we can potentially treat yours without using any medications. My name is Dr. Yu Sang and welcome to the channel where I talk about heart, health, and prevention. Now, what exactly are palpitations? These are abnormal sensations that you feel in your chest. They can be abnormal in the sense that it can be due to some type of underlying structural issue with the heart. They can be normal, meaning that you don't have any structural issues. You just have them. Roughly around four, if not a little bit higher, six to 10% of people actually have palpitations with nothing wrong with them. We have palpitations that is benign. It can be a sensation of the skip beats. It can be a sensation of those fluttering. But then when we do other testing, we find that it is actually nothing at all. It is a normal sinus rhythm. Things that can make this worse, things that can exacerbate this includes drinking excess caffeine, alcohol intake, stress, and not getting enough rest. A lot of times we find that some of it can be due to some type of underlying other medical problems. Issues with the thyroids, with the adrenal glands can be a marker of it. Low potassium levels or magnesium levels can be associated with it. So when it comes to figuring out what your cause of your palpitation is, it starts with a good history and physical exam to see what is going on. When did this start? Did it start abruptly or has it gradually worsened over time? What can we do to figure out this palpitations a little bit better? The first thing is getting an EKG, an electrocardiogram. This lets us know what your electrical rhythm is doing at this moment. Fortunately, a lot of people who get this done, it doesn't really show anything because these palpitations can come and go and are based on for some people, the time of the month, for some people, how much stress and how much sleep they are not getting. So we want to check it out a little bit further. What else can we do? We can do a longer monitor anywhere from one to five days, sometimes 14 days, upwards to 30 days. And if your symptoms are very, very unique or very rare, we can do a leak recorder, which records it upwards to, uh, over one to three years, over three to four years, depending if we cannot find it, but we still have a heightened sense of concern. The biggest example of peoples that we check this for are people who have had a stroke, but we haven't been able to find a cause, specifically an electrical cause such as atrial fibrillation, but we still have that concern. So we'll put in a loop recorder to further evaluate, monitor them for an extended period of time. So how can we treat it? without medications. The first one is seeing if it's un due to some type of electrical issue, sorry, it's due to some type of issue with stress. So getting enough sleep. One of the biggest causes of it is excess caffeine intake. So one of the ways that we can prevent this is reducing the amount of caffeine. I had an individual come to me having drinking four to six copies, cups of coffee per day and significant benefits when he was able to drop that down to just one to two cups of coffee. Had another individual come to me because of the palpitations. We ran some blood tests and saw that he was low in vitamin D, potassium, and his magnesium levels. When we repeated those levels, his um, palpitations got a lot better. Had another individual who I was working up in the process of working up for palpitations only to find out that they had an overactive thyroid. So sometimes treating underlying conditions can essentially treat or cure your palpitations. But some people don't have palpitations come back with palpitations. We do further testing and find out that they may have some dangerous causes of their palpitations. We work those ones further with a stress test, potentially even a heart catheterization to look for blockages that can be causing these palpitations. Now, other than working them up, are there any medical therapies if per se, the lifestyle changes are not enough? And the answer is yes. May stay treatment to the beta blockers to help decrease the amount of palpitations, help with the heart rate, with the caveat of knowing that some people can have significant issues with um, uh, fatigue, tiredness while on the medication. It does take the body some time to get adjusted to it. For certain individuals, each person is different. 
uh, for instance, I have several people on it. And despite being on it for several weeks or months, are still having the fatigues and tiredness. I have others who've been on it for decades and haven't had any issues. So it can fluctuate from person to person, taking time to get your cause of it, the treatment I'm planning for you and look for potential underlying causes is key.